Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do a get ready with me using the products that I purchased from the recent Priceline 40% sale. And also I have a bunch of other drugstore products as well. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. These products aren't necessarily new, but it's new to me. So I have a strobing liquid from Maybelline. Got this shade medium nude glow. And this is what it looks like. It has a little bit of rose gold bronzy undertone so I thought I would start with that and apply it on the high points of my cheek just to create like a nice bronzy glow oh it's really nice the only thing that I don't like is the scent it's quite sunscreen like scent but it blends into the skin it creates like a nice um, like peachy glow you can't really tell at the moment because my skin has got a lot of eczema like this one here like a bit of flare up and also I have a massive zit so please excuse that but we will see if we could put that on top of um, the foundation next product is this one right here Maybelline brow precise fiber volumizer now I have seen this floating around but I have not personally tried it so i filled in my brows lightly because this one is supposed to add a little bit of thickness to the hair i got the shade me uh, deep brown and this is what the one looks like it looks like a comb and as you can see it has fibers i don't know how to apply this because the applicator seems to gather a lot of product i'll try on this end tail Ooh, I like how it made my brow look a lot thicker and the front part right here it looks more natural so one tip I would definitely share is that you have to make sure that you don't have a lot of product in here because it can get a little bit messy but it did a good job in setting my brows it added a little bit of thickness compared to this side right here which was lightly filled in and I actually quite like it I have a few Maybelline products here and also there's a few products that I've already owned but I've only used once or twice so we will include it in this video so for eyes today I have this three photo ready eye art from Revlon and I think these are new so I got three shades I got the peach prism which looks like this so you have like a shimmery base and then the glittery base i thought this would be perfect for every day and i love the glitter part because you could just add it on as a topper so that's what peach prism looks like and then we have topaz twinkle which looks like this again it's a lot more bronzy i love the applicator on this because you could easily cut your crease you won't have a problem Ooh, i love the glitter in this one so this is what topaz twinkle looks like oh my gosh it's so pretty and then last but not the least i thought i would purchase a dramatic one and this is the midnight glitz so this is what it looks like so it's a blue base shadow and oh look at that it's so pretty i love the fact that the glitter corresponds to the undertone of the actual base and that's what midnight glitz looks like but for today's video i am going to go and use the peach prism which is this one right here because i wanted to try out this l'oreal very much love eyeshadow again and for concealer, I finally found the L 16 hour camouflage concealer. Now you can purchase this from Kmart here in New Zealand and I got the shade medium beige. It's weird because it looks a little bit lighter on the tube, but it actually oxidized a little bit on my skin. So that's what it looks like. So I'm going to prime my eyes with this. And I also have a little bit of eczema on my lids. so. I don't know how this is gonna go pretty full coverage and it actually kind of brightened my lid as well I am going to quickly put on some shadows on my lid using this palette because it definitely complements that peach prism that we have so I'm going to start off with the shade right here
and for transition shade I might go and use this shade right here it has a little bit of sheen to it but we'll make it work to deepen our lids a little bit I'm going to go and use this shade right here which is a nice burgundy shade This blend will be a little bit patchy because my eyelids are just so dry. Alright, I'm going back to the transition shade that we use. I think I am going to go and actually dot a little bit of this peach prism. And blend it out with a brush. I love how it's so easy to apply as well. So now I'm going to blend it. I have no product in this brush. The only complaint I would have to give is that it dries a little bit quickly. So you just have to work quick as well. So now I'm going to go and use the glitter pot and I want to line my crease area. Can't really see it. So that's the eyes done. I might have to kind of pop it a little bit more. So I think I'm going to go and use this shade right here just to put on top of the glitter to give it a little bit of color, I guess. It's a little bit visible. It's quite messy though. But I'm going to leave the eyes like that. So now we're going to move on to the face. I don't have much new face products to be honest I only have this highlighter right here which everyone pretty much raved about so I'm just gonna quickly do my base and then we'll come back and do the highlighter I'm so excited now I know that Tati reviewed this and she loved this and I have swatched this a few times at a store but I didn't really got around to purchasing it so this is what it looks like this is the master chrome metallic highlighter and this one is in the shade molten gold which is their very first one I know they have the rose gold and the kind of like a holographic one but I opted for this one it's so pretty and oh goodness that is metallic it's right there and whew, I'm obsessed so I'm going to use this brush right here and just apply it onto the face it is just so pretty so it gives you like a wet look it's not overly glittery though you can still see a little bit of like flecks of it but it blends into the skin it reminds me of the Oh Darling from MAC at a very affordable price and oh my gosh look at that you're just beaming the ones that I'm really obsessed with is obviously the highlighter it's just amazing I feel like from the drugstore the top two highlighters that I really love is from Wet n Wild which is the um, Precious Petals Yes, and this one. The intensity is there, and for a drugstore brand, this is amazing. Second is the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. Now, I was a bit skeptical with this product because, one, I've seen a few people complain about this because, like, the one is just not your typical one, but it actually is amazing. Like, it created a bushy eyebrows it made it look more intense and full and it set the brows in place as well now i do love a little bit of texture on my brows that's just personal preference but overall i actually love the product the revlon 
eye pain I love these stuff the they dry pretty quickly they don't budge like as you can see I'm rubbing it off they just they're not gonna go anywhere the only problem I have is that if you apply a little bit too much it can kind of crack a little bit on your lid so I suggest that just maybe use your finger and kind of sweep the product all over and not pile on as much because let's be real if you like pile it on it's very very intense and metallic i love the liner aspect to it because if you want to intensify and add glitter it's there it's not messy it immediately sticks into the lid with no problem so that's what my eyes are looking as for the strobing liquid i can't really tell you much about this all i know is that you could definitely use this to kind of add a little bit of luminosity onto your foundation and also add a little bit of that bronze glow this would be perfect for people who's got really nice skin and also if you're on like a tropical or like a holiday this would be a great one to have and the least favorite would have to be the elf concealer now i do love the fact that it's very full coverage however it oxidizes so as you can see right there it started off that shade which is a little bit lighter and now it kind of um dried into a darker shade which is not which is a little bit deceiving especially looking at it from the tube it looks pretty light but i mean if you want like a very full-on coverage at a very affordable price this is a good one to have it's just that at the moment i have this huge bump which is a little bit flaky and i've kind of i've put oil in it i've moisturized but it kind of lightened it a little bit i mean it highlighted the dry patches so just ignore that other than that i did enjoy this product hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and i will catch you on the next one bye